Hi, everybody. Welcome back to The Horror Show. I'm Marsh Barker, and I'm coming live at Phoenix Comic Con 2017. I know what year it is, I swear. And I'm here with Mr. Ryan Quackenbush. How are you doing today? Doing all right. Thank you. So I'm actually really excited because your artwork totally stopped us dead in our tracks. So uh, just tell us a little bit about what you're doing here. Uh, I, it's just my thing, I guess. I make uh, comics. I make uh, illustrations. I do, like, mock posters. I... I just, whatever comes to mind, whatever I feel like doing, I like lots of things, so I try to make lots of things, I guess. Well, I see you have a lot of uh, horror theme going on here. Can you tell us a little bit about your comic? Yeah, uh, I, I like, um, yeah, horror's good. I mean, it's it's a good medium. I've, I've liked horror all my life. I mean, there's, I mean, European horror is great. So I've just tried to touch on that a little bit, I guess. I mean, I like a little more subtle, um, creepy. If it, if it makes me feel weird inside, like, I like it a lot. So that's kind of what I'm going for. I'm trying to do it in comics. Because I don't have like a budget, I get to just do it myself. So it's whatever I can pull off in comics, I guess. Yeah, that's awesome. And you were telling me like you have uh, how many different issues? Uh, I've got five of my own comic that I do by myself. And then I kind of have odds and ends of other things. And the five comics are separate from each other, right? Yeah, single issues, whatever I felt like making at the time. Yeah, 22 pages and that's it. So it was kind of like a Penny Dreadful, but Ryan style. Yeah, right. Yeah, I love that kind of stuff. I like something that just has like a, a start and an end. Like that's it. Somebody can buy it and be good and don't have to worry about picking up, you know, subsequent issues. And yeah, something like that. It's good. I know you did a short story in this book based off of Nine Inch Nails. Yeah. So uh, the guy who used to run the comic programming here got a bunch of us locals and other people to do kind of pitch in stories for songs. Everybody got to pick a song and then do a story based on that. And I have I have one in there that I worked on. Yeah. And what is that about? Can you give me a little synopsis of it? Uh, it's just about a guy who uh, slowly turns himself into a robot. There's no spoiler because it it's very gradually happens. So it's kind of this whole descent into madness kind of a thing. So it's he turns himself into a robot and kind of isolates himself from everybody he knows. And yeah, that that sounds amazing. Yeah. That is amazing. So what was your first experience with horror? I think I, think I remember seeing. Arachnophobia was a big deal. Nice. I remember my aunt taking me to see it, and like like getting to see a horror movie like it was a big deal that young. And then I I think it's just anything that I could sneak or like anything that I got told that I couldn't see, when I got to see it, like it was that better and that bigger deal and it just stuff like that s sticks with you I guess. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's just it's a lifelong thing. It's you mean you develop you change personalities tastes and things like that movies change and it's just kind of a big journey i guess yeah if you could do any horror icon in your own style what would be the biggest one that you would you would go for i i'm actually working on one my my next issue of my comic is my own take on frankenstein because nice. i mean it's public domain so i'm gonna i'm gonna take it yeah so that's what i'm doing now uh, there's lots there's i mean i think i, I think i like like a, a certain type of monster like i like a frankenstein i like witches I like things like that, and there's so much you can do in it, and you never know. So tell us, where can we find your work? Uh, so I have a website, so just my name.com, ryanquackenbush.com. I've got an Instagram, Facebook. That's about it. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. So everybody, thank you so much for listening. Make sure you continue to watch all of our footage from Phoenix Comic Con, and remember, stay, stay scared. scared. Awesome. Thank you so yeah, much. I, I literally love your work. Like, this is amazing. Um, and, and do you still have some of the Nine Inch 